is up guys it is the sports nerd bradley walker and welcome to the walker report part of in the zone sports talk radio part of in the uh ngsc sports remember the website guys it's ngsc sports for all your current sports content we are sponsored by CreatingZenspaces.com, the local choice in St. Petersburg, Florida. For house cleaning, organization, decluttering, and pet sitting, it's about finding the peace within you and adding comfort to your life. Remember, guys, Zen Spaces begins with you. Be kind to yourself and one another. We are also sponsored by Garrett's Carrots. Illuminate your inner self. Shatter the trendy norms and open up your world to a newfound level of confidence and admir- admiration. Garrett's Garrett Center Jewelry and Luxury Accessories. Happy Thursday, everybody out there. Welcome in. Uh, I believe as of right now, the 2022 NHL draft is going on. Uh, I'm going to bring on my two co-hosts. I believe Gerald will be joining us later on. Mm, Happy draft day. How's it going? Happy draft day. It is draft day. Yes. Draft day is in Canada. Yep. Yeah. And as expected, Montreal got the first pick, and there you go. I don't know why anybody's so shocked about them. Who did they take? I can't say his name if I even if I tried to say it. He's from, to, he's from Slovakia, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think he's from Slovakia. I missed the first five picks, so I forgot it was on. Uh, Jari Skowalski, or uh, how do you say it? It'll come back around here in a second, right? <laughs> I'm um, currently, guys, trying. There we go. Finally, downloaded my notes. I couldn't get my notes to open. Mm. <laughs> Some say it was by visible shock and uh, surrounded cheers. So you got a little bit of both. Well, I know they, they have Marty St. Louis as their head coach. So we'll see how yeah. uh, how that goes in his first Ooh, year. That's, that, that, you're in good hands for sure. That it looked really coach. good last year coming in. Through the second half of the season, season. Yeah, he did a lot better than the coach did previous to for Montreal. I will say that. <laughs> yeah, I will say that. The only, the only thing you have to worry about, just like Steve, Steve Eiserman was saying, is that um, having um, the no Russian players. Right. right. Well, I mean, you know, you know, we'll, we'll see. You know, obviously, uh, but just speaking of Russia, I just saw an article online that I guess that uh, Putin said that he is just starting with Ukraine. There's going to be more invasions in his eyes. I don't know what that means, but you know, it is what it is. I think I want to know. I don't either. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm watching uh, the Pro Championship semifinal women's lacrosse. Team USA is up 13 to 1 over Australia. Oh. Mismatch. Australia just scored their first goal in the in the third quarter. So, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for my notes, guys, to populate. Um, I just, I, you know, I don't know if you guys saw my post. I did go to the chiropractor today. Oh my oh, god! I did see that. Yeah. Jesus. I hate chiropractors. I, I do too. My, um, my um, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of tightness that needs to be loosened. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, don't trust, I don't trust him. You're better off just going and getting a massage. Well, my chiropractor almost killed me. Oh, shoot, Lou. That's not good. No. That's not as good. For a joke. Not a funny one either. Well, but that's another story for another time. Indeed. Still. <laughs> You better keep right, What do you guys want to start? I have about everything. I've got UFC, NCAA. We haven't done a. We haven't done a. a standard show in two weeks, so. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, what about well uh, I don't know if anybody be interested in this or not, but uh, shall we discuss uh, that uh, thing with the with the four letters in it? Uh, you yeah, know? the USFL maybe. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I wasn't gonna say it out loud, but you know where I was going with that, right? <laughs> right, right. Well, the, they they did survive a season. So did I. Got, congratulations oh, wow. to Birmingham. They were the ones who great game won the championship. So congratulations to them. 
Um, now the question is, will they come back for season two is the question. Well, I mean, they're, I think. they're scheduled to. Okay. Yeah, they're scheduled to. That's, it's possible. We'll see how the Earth is in this. Well, I mean, if if they do, I probably I'm sure that Ralph will ask me to cover the Bandits, right? Yeah, they're expected playing. to come back for season two and play in their home stadium. So, yeah, then that I, would make a plus because you know how are you going to grow with just playing in one city? In one right. City? right, you're not. Now I know that was planned for this year, but and they said that if they do survive, which it looks like they are, they'll play in their home stadiums uh, for season two. Yeah. yeah, right now they're scheduled to play sure. their second their second season in their home ballpark. Right, which makes a lot more sense because you you yeah. might get more you might get more fans that way, you know, and, and grow the game because well, you're not going to be able to do that, you know, just playing in in Alabama, Birmingham, right, more specifically. Um, it's but Alabama. what it was was with with COVID the way it was when they started this whole thing, they didn't know whether or not they were going to be able to have full stadiums or not. Right, of course. So they wanted they they just we'll just do it all in Birmingham. That way we can keep the possibility of COVID. Okay, but why Birmingham? And that's where they're headquartered. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, they're they're headquartered out of Birmingham, <laughs> and the stadium's there. They already have a stadium there. Right, right. Available to use, and they, you know, they cut down on travel costs, so you're not flying all over the country. Well, yeah, I get, I get that. I just thought it was an unusual location. I'm surprised Birmingham. The Birmingham almost got the Vikings. The Vikings. Uh, Birmingham yeah. Vikings. Hmm. I don't know if they would have changed the name or not. But. No, I, no I, I think Minnesota fans are too loyal for that team. <laughs> too loyal. No, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't see it. It was back in the 70s. Oh, yeah, right. That's right, dude. Before they became, before they went to four Super Bowls and lost all. Ah. Yeah. But anyway, you know, it was a great game. I mean, it was a highly competitive game, which is more we could say for half the Super Bowls that we've seen in our lifetime. So it really lived up to the hype. It was a great, it was a great game. 33-30. Philly was trying to make a come up. Uh, you know, they were down by ten with about two minutes to go, but they got a lucky break near the end until yeah. they got intercepted. They pulled within three points. They had a good end. Well, I mean, see, if if it's competitive football, then it will stay around. Now, the it question, was as Adam has always said, now, what stars do you have to draw to watch it? Is the question that's going to right. make it tough for them. Well, XFL as well. What stars are the rock? What's the rock going to do next spring when the XFL starts back up? Um, you know, I heard. How's that going to work? I, that's a very, very good question, Lou. It's a I great mean, question. The XFL, um, the team that was here, the Vipers, I think is moving to Orlando. From uh-huh. what I hear is a rumor. Um, okay. So, you know, I don't know if the, if the Vipers will be here or not. Again, right. that, could change. that could be a rumor and they are staying here. Um, it was kind of cool to go see, I don't, you know, non-pro football and non-college football. Because again, yeah. you know, covering USF, and obviously, I'm hoping one day to cover the Bucks. But you know, that would be, you know, it was kind of cool to go in. There's Gerald. It's kind of, it was kind of cool to go in and, you know, see, um, you know, see different style of football. But again, you know, we'll see. You know, I, I'm hoping. Right. Again, at the end of the day, it's always great to have competition. Competition, but right. The competition uh, has got multi-billion dollar corporations and billions of dollars yeah. in backing. Uh, it and does make it very difficult <laughs> to compete. And that's what I was saying about yeah. this. You know, I'll be right I've heard guys, I'm, I'm eating real quick. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Um, it's like you have a ghost behind your curtains there. But other than that, you're good. Um, but... Well, it's like I've been saying all along. It's like you have to have big money. You have to yeah. attract. Yes. Because, like, I don't know. Let's say Kenny Pickett, you know, went 20 to the Steelers. And he's going to make, like, $18 million this year or some, you know, absurd figure like that, right? Right. And he's going to make, you know, $70 million over the, you know, the course of his rookie deal or whatever, right. you know. 
Okay, well, just for want of numbers, I know they're wrong. Correct me in the comments. So I like you below. Appreciate that. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share while you're at it. Um, and and he, even if he was, even if the USFL were able to offer him the number one overall pick, they couldn't come close to matching the money that um, the NFL the NFL has at pick twenty. No, no, hell no. And that's why it's so hard for startup leagues to get going. And anything other than baseball, because baseball, there are 50 million people that play baseball all around the world. And so, yeah. Apparently, startup baseball leagues are just the thing you do. Right. Well, I was going to say, too, there, there's a topic, too, about the minor leagues um, going to Congress to try to get something passed. We can talk about that later when we talk about yeah, yeah. the MLB. Um, but there was something that um, that happened, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and I caught that caught my attention yeah, this yeah. afternoon. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm happy for the USFL. I'm, you know, we're we're going to see what the XFL does. I don't know how they're going to compete against each other for that's the first You know, you know yeah. are they how are they, how are they going to do that? Um, I know the XFL. I think, or maybe it was the USFL always played on Thursdays or mostly Thursdays. So I don't know how. Sundays. Yeah, I don't know how that. They how this Thursday, they Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. The U.S. Football did. Okay, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. okay. And of I course, don't know how it's gonna... you know, of course, comes to the words they can merge. They can call it the U.S.F. The U.S. XFL. They could. Uh, they could. Well, they, 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 and 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 wouldn't that be a shocker if now the USFL is done with a year and now next season? There's a merger between now and then with the XFL. Yeah. Right. Would I be surprised? No. No, no. not really. I no. can see it happening. I wouldn't be surprised at all. It, it, of course, it's going to be a stupid name. The US XFL. What, what the hell is no, that? No, no, no. It's got to be the X USFL. Yeah, the X USFL. The X USFL. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Come on, man. I can hear you people at home. What kind of a stupid name is that? <laughs> hey, at least hey, they didn't We didn't make it this ourselves, you know. <laughs> but yeah, you heard it here kind of first. Mixing? You heard it here okay. first. We're gonna have the ex USFL. <laughs> yes, yes. But what kind of Mickey Mouse outfit calls itself the duck? <laughs> That's right. Quack, quack, quack baby. If you want to make things worse, you can bring back the UFL from 2007, 2008. I'm not mad. Wow, you're digging into the archives there, big buddy. Yeah, yeah. I saw some of those games in the fall of 2007. I'm like, okay, it's not yeah. bad, but you know, never catch on. Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, gonna- it did not. And we're just gonna did dust every off every bag of bones like it's Halloween all year round. Why don't we just bring back NFL Europe while we're at it? <laughs> or the WLAF from seventy four seventy five. Yes, I want to remember that people. I'm not that. Not that long, World either. Football League, right? Yeah, World League of American Football. I'm not as young as I look, people. I've been around before. Um, don't let him lie. He was only twenty eight. <laughs> okay. If you, if you guys want to, we can talk about Wimbledon going on right now. In, Anyone for in, tennis? In tennis. Um, yeah, but you hear the big news today, though, right? Kind of sad news. Rafael Nadal will not yeah. be playing in the semifinal. Uh, what was it? At? What was it? Groin injury, Lou? Is that what happened? No, uh, it was an abdominal injury. Well, abdominal, abdominal injury. Okay. And that, because yeah. he, he was going to go up against Nick Kugrorius or Kugrorius, whatever yeah. he is, right? Yeah. yeah, he's in a lot of trouble oh, too off the court. Didn't he get in trouble for beating his wife or a girlfriend or something? Yes. I think he's in trouble off the court. Um, mm-hmm. Now, the women's final is set for Saturday morning, right? As usual, the final is yeah. always on Saturday mornings. And then the men's final is on Sunday mornings on right. court one or, or center court is what they call it at Wimbledon. Right. Um, I want to, I want to, I actually want to go see the event. That's one of my bucket list sporting events that I want to go see in person sometime. If you hurry now, you might make it for Sunday. <laughs> get on a plane and fly to England? <laughs> get, well, you get a passport first, of course. Yeah, mm. it's just, yeah I got to get a passport. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a passport in a matter of a few days. Uh, okay. 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 Overnight. Go ahead. To fly to England. <laughs> to fly to England. Um, you know, you're going to uh, be uh, passport expedited in two days? No, no. Not really unlikely. No, I was going to say, unless you're some, like, high-ranking U.S. official, that ain't happening. <laughs> That's not happening. I watched my previous life. 
Yeah, pickle for the number. But one. yeah, I mean, Wimbledon is definitely one of those events I want to see. The Masters is another one I want to see. Yeah. First. Um, well, the only two I really pay attention to is Wimbledon and the U.S. Open. As I mentioned last week, or I mentioned to somebody else last week, that there's always because always coincides with two different things. Wimbledon, it coincides with just getting out of school for the year, and the U.S. Open is when schools are going to get back to the year. So, uh, you know, because right. the the later rounds are right after uh, Labor Day weekend, and that's when everything starts to you know go back to you know normal. So I, I always coincide with that. Australia. That's so far ahead of time, and like you know, it was in January. Like nobody really cares. French Open, well, you don't have people in the French stuff like that. Well, the and the Aust- what I like about the Australian Open is it's played on clay. I think if I've I've got an opportunity to play on clay in tennis, and you can slide. You're not supposed to slide. They tell you not to slide, but everybody does it. Come on now, yeah, of course, everybody does it. You know, so I. But yes, Wimbledon and the U.S. Open, I think, are the two yeah. premier right. majors in tennis. Yes. Um, but the ones I pay attention to. Obviously, Wimbledon is in England, and the U.S. Open is in New York. Yes. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah. What even makes it even better this year is that uh, my favorite, my favorite tennis player of back then, is doing commentary. Chrissy Everett. Yes. Is she? How's she doing? She's recovering from She's, cancer, right? Yeah. I'll tell you though, for someone who's sixty, like uh, sixty. Well, I'm fifty-two. She's about. I think she's like about sixty-two or sixty-three. Not bad. No, Chrissy's not bad at all. I agree. No, with you. Chrissy's not bad at all. Wow, I'm getting fingers already. Who's flicking me off? That's gotta, gotta be Rich. Rich. I'm guessing that's Rich, right? He's flicking me off already. Oh, sorry, sorry, Rich. Wow, I don't. Yeah, I guess we can't talk tennis. All right, yeah. cool beans. All right. Sounds good. This is not his racket. He's on his show. If you want to, guys, because that's all really tennis I have going on right now. Right, right. And, um, I wanted to bring up um, this topic right here, especially being that there's somebody overseas right now. Renee um, Ryder. She did uh, testify guilty. Yes. She could serve up to 10 years in prison in Russia if that is that way. I heard that, read an article, that, or read a, the thing across the bottom of ESPN that it could take almost a year before she's sentenced. That's how yeah, long yeah. it's been. Long and drawn out. Yeah, so that's not good for her. No. Um, but then on the flip side of it, at least she didn't say I was innocent, you know, because obviously the evidence was right there. Right. Uh, yeah, I was pretty stuck against her. Could that work in her favor, though? It was now that you could be right on that by her by her pleading guilty and saying yeah you know what I did have weed and I say I did it and you could see it I'm not gonna lie you know I'm not gonna lie about it. Her name um, is Brittany Grimes. Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I mean, she did plead guilty. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Maybe she won't get that much jail time. Maybe hell, she'll get extradited back to the U.S. and serve jail time here in the states out of that yeah. game. i don't know how russian law works over there you know i'm not sure either neither do i um, but the all-star break is happening for the wnba this weekend yeah, this weekend? yeah that's right um, i thought it was next weekend, weekend but then again that would that would clash with the british open so that wouldn't work it's uh what is it team team bird versus t- i forget who the other team is that they have set yeah. it up um again just like the nba I think they don't they pick their pick their team yes. they in the NBA. Okay. Yes. So they pick their teams. Um I wanted to kind of Lou, because you you know more about this league than I do. Here's an article from ESPN.com talking about the next generation of WNBA players. I'm uh-huh. gonna drop some names on you and you tell me if you agree with their picks or you don't agree with their picks. So number one, we have future NVP. Future most valuable player, Napisa Collier of the Minnesota Lynx. Is uh, I like that. I like that. First person they have. Future triple double leader, Sabrina. Sabrina. Uh, what's how do you pronounce her last name? Uh, uh, Lis- uh, Liskew, I think it is. Uh, the New York Liberty. Yep. Great player. Uh, future double double machine, Alea Boston. I guess she's currently with the South Carolina Gamecocks. Yes. So she must be. A future. Pick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's gonna be. She's gonna be a star. 
future and WNBA president Satal Sabi of the Dallas Wings, I guess uh, predicting after her career. Yeah. Uh, future international star Easy Megabore of the Seattle Storm. Mm-hmm. The next dynasty is the Las Vegas Aces. I think I agree with that. They've been yeah in the championship for the last few years. Um, but lost to yeah, Chicago future. last year. Yep, uh, and Chicago has. Um, What's his name that um, that was away for a long time and came back? Her name escapes me. Oh my God, her name! Is, I wrote an article about her too, and I don't. Her name escapes me. It'll come back to me. Uh, future scoring champ, um, Arike Obowale, uh, the Dallas Wings. Uh-huh. Future multi champion, Arel Atkins of the Washington Mystics. Yes. Future defensive player of the year, Shakira Austin of the Wa- also with the Mystics. Right. Um, Future 50 40 90 club mentor, member, Ozzy Foot of the Yukon Huskies, obviously a future pick in the WNBA. Future game winning bucket, uh, Ryan Howard of the Atlanta Dream. And three point contest winner, Lexi Brown of the Sparks. Mm-hmm. So those are some of the names Sparks. that they picked. Um, and then here are the 2022 um, midseason picks and predictions. Uh, for the rest of the season. Uh, so let's see. They have which team or player, which team or player has been the biggest surprise, good or bad. Uh, looks like they have number one pick, Ryan Howard, the dream are well positioned for their first playoff trip since 2018. Okay. So they go down the list. They all pick their, I thought that was just a list of players, but they all have, their picks in the articles too long to go through all of them, but uh, Candace Parker, that's the name I can't Candace I can't Parker. Remember. Oh. She's on Chicago, right? Lou, is she on with the dream? Right. Yes. Great yeah. player. Great player. She's the one who left the WNBA mm-hmm. to get a guy out of prison and then she married him. And then she came back. Yes. To play, um, what was it last year? Or the fact, year? Sabrina broke her record mm-hmm. last night. Gotcha. Okay. So that's my WNBA news. I wanted to bring it up. Brittany Griner thing was the biggest thing I, I wanted to yeah. talk about with um, her pleading guilty. Uh, and, I, you know, here's my question. I'm not trying to get political or anything, but right, right. why in the hell did you think you were going to get away with marijuana in a foreign country? I'm just asking that. Exactly. I'm like Russia. The foolish move. I, I, that's, and that's my point. Did you think we because don't around, we don't around, mess around with Russia? No, absolutely not. Yeah, so no. what I'm saying is, what made you think you were going to get be able to get away with that? I, I'm that's my question. I, you know, who? I mean, obviously, yeah, you're you're a well known basketball player, but at the flip side of it, um, on the flip side of it, you know, what what makes you think you could get away with it? You know, I, yeah. I guess I don't know. I maybe ego. You know, I don't. You know, I don't know. Well, sir, since you messaged me off air and you wanted to talk about it, well, I'll let you share your news right now. Yes, Connor. <laughs> I don't know if I heard this or not, but uh, Noah, Noah, I can't remember his last name. Uh, Jackson. Jackson. No, he drives for Junior Motorsports and then Jackson. He just got suspended. I mean, he just got fined. Thirty-five thousand dollars, right? Mm-hmm. I was. That was actually something I was going to bring up, Gerald. So go right ahead. Well, uh, and he lost thirty points in driver standing. Oh, ooh, ouch! And junior Motor Junior, the owner of Junior Motorsports, lost thirty points in the owner standings. Uh-huh. Okay, so quiz me on this, guys, because I don't know a lot about NASCAR. The owners have points too. Quiz uh-huh. me. On this, I don't. Yeah. I didn't know. They do. I, yeah. they do. I would like to learn something new because again, I don't know a lot about. It's a lot like. In F1, they have the um, constructors championship. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. each car, each car manufacturer, so each owner is entered in his own championship, and the best team and the best owner each year gets a trophy and prize money. Mm, okay, okay. Very sim, very. Then it must be something similar to like the FedEx Cup in golf, or the something one like that. that yeah, at the right, end yeah. of the year wins ten million. For the most FedEx club. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, I'm trying was, to. Yeah, trying it to. For, uh, it was for uh, uh, 
something uh, violating uh, NASCAR uh, driver policy or um, rough driving. Yeah, rough driving. Yeah. Stage Karam door slammed him. And then uh, called the big pile up. And then uh, Brandon, I uh, can't remember his last name. Brandon. Brandon Brown. Brandon Brown got out of the car and collapsed on the ground. Yeah. Oh, shit. shit. Wow. Yeah. Everybody was checked and released, so. I mean, what did he, what did, the, was there an accident? Is that what yeah. happened? Yeah. It was a kind of bodied the, body the nine coming off of, I think I'm to say seven, seven down the back stretch. And Gregson just come up the hill and just hooked him, gotcha. turned him down across the field. And that's what, and that's what caused a chain yeah. reaction. And that's why he's getting, um, that's why it's such a, a huge penalty. Mm. Okay. Okay. And that, and that, and that, right there, those points could possibly knock him out of the playoffs. Uh, he has a win, I believe. Yeah, but with that, with that uh, punishment though, that's going to drop him down a little bit in in the standings for the playoffs. Oh yeah, uh, it won't knock him out of the playoffs, but it will hurt his playoff position. Big time. And, and it's going to hurt Junior when it comes to the end of the season for the owner championship. Yeah. Well, his other three cars are doing well enough. So, hell, if it keeps going this way, um, Josh Berry may make a run at the title. He finished third Saturday. And so. uh, Adam, to, to uh, elaborate, uh, to, uh, elaborate on what you said last week about Junior coming into the Cup Series, yeah, what have you heard? It's it's a done deal. Uh, next season, he's going to have a two car team running next season in the Cup Series just to see how it goes. Okay, awesome. Uh, I wonder if Gregson, Gregson they don't and have, they don't have the car numbers, the drivers, or the sponsors uh, lined up just yet. They're still working out that details. Those details. I don't know who's all in a free agent this year. Yeah. Uh, well, we know Ty Gibbs ain't coming up. We know Ty Gibbs ain't coming up because uh, Gib, if him being Gibbs' uh, grandson, I don't know. If you offer me the right amount of money. Oh, yeah. speaking, of, speaking of grandsons, a grandkid. Yeah. This truly is going to become a first-time grandpa. Congratulations, man! Oh, very nice. Uh. Him, my son and his girlfriend are hoping for a boy, but the doctors are saying okay. a girl. Hey, I don't care if it's a boy or girl as long as it's healthy. That's what we all right. hope. Absolutely. Hey, Absolutely. maybe you can get twins. Be a boy and a girl. There you go. And that could happen too. Wishful thinking. And that could happen also. Um, <laughs> I, I, right now, I could see Barry and Gregson, depending on those would be have to be the emperor. Looking to put money on it, I'd be I go Barry and Gregson. Hmm. Or I could see uh, uh, uh Josh Barry. Yep. That's yeah. what I said, Barry and Allen and, and Gregson. I could see Josh Barry moving to the series to drop a junior. And Anybody I else that you guys see. Offhand? Mm. <laughs> Just Gregson and, and Barry. Yeah, I agree with Adam. Yeah. Other than agents. that, I don't know who's going to be a free agent next year that might be able to be tempted away. You know like what? Said, mm. I don't see Gibbs leaving. Quick. I don't see Gibbs leaving. Um, well, Gibbs. Uh, um, I don't think that there's anybody else who's because. Hendrick, all the Hendrick guys are locked up, so that's four names off the board right there. Um, Reddick, who won last Sunday, is locked down. Um, yeah, as far as I know, Austin Dillon's locked in. Okay. Um, I'm pulling it up now. Okay. The drivers that, that are going to become free agents. Okay. Austin Sendrick, but he's expected to return to the number two. Yeah, I can't see him going anywhere. Coy LaJoy, he's expected yeah. to return to the number seven. Yeah, I can't see him getting a... Chris Buescher, but they're saying he's going to return to the number 17. We yeah. know Kyle Busch is going to return to the number 18. Maybe. You 
Maybe. Maybe. I could see. I could see. I don't know how. I don't know how Junior and Kyle's relationship is off the track, but I could see that because his relationship is Gibbs is very, very strange. Then uh, Rick Ware Racing, the number 15 team, will likely piece together drivers based on sponsorship. Yeah, like they've been doing for the last year and a half. Uh, KUL ING Racing. Yeah. It, that team could switch to a single driver for the season. Which team is that? What numbers? Uh, the 16. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, Harrison Burton, but he's expected to return. Yeah. Michael McDowell, front row, typically announces plans just before the start of the season. Uh, Ty, Todd Gillen, uh, but he, but we all know he uh, does it before the start of the season, too. Could be John, John Nemechek. Uh, yeah. Cody Ware possibly returns if he wants to. Right. Uh, Spirit Motorsports team would likely piece together drivers based on sponsorship. And Daniel Story is expected to return to the number 99. I can't imagine Justin Marks letting him go not after getting the win. Confirmed driver changes in 2023. Eric Amarola will retire. Yeah. I could see. I could see. I, I, I wonder if um, John Hunter Nemechek leaves for Junior. Out of the That's, truck. A, that's yeah. a possibility. You know, uh, he, uh, he, could go, he could go get somebody from the ARCA series. He could take an ARCA driver, maybe. Yeah. Wonder, I know Greg Biffle's been running some um, As an uh, SRX stuff. I wonder if he'd be interested in returning to be a um, – But then again, here's something that could happen. Junior could get back in the car and become driver owner. He might, he might do it for a year. He might spin it up for one more year, so they can, you know, kind of a stop gap, establish the team, and and yeah. get the sponsors on board. And if he can get the approval from the doctors, he might. If he can get the NASCAR approval and approval from the doctors, he might give it a whirl. You want to talk about yeah. a comeback? Holy, that shit. would be huge. Yeah. I mean, that season Daytona would be every race would be sold out just to see here's him. The prob- again. Here's the problem yeah. with that though. You know that number eight has been in the heart in the Earnhardt family forever. Years. Yeah, but which Teresa Childers, still owns it. Richard Childers owns that number eight now. Teresa owns it. Well, Teresa owns it. Well, Teresa released that number so Junior can have it back. Right, 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 right. So and what numbers could he run? What numbers? He could have eighty-eight. Yeah, he could have eighty-eight. He could have. He could have uh, Who owns the three? Is that his three Sugar, Sugar. Sugar. Austin Dillon has that ride, so the got three's you. not available. That that belongs to Richard Childress Race. What? Who's got? Is anybody? Nobody's running thirty-three right now, right? No, thirty-three is a free number. So he could go eighty-eight and thirty-three. I mean, his dad was him. His dad and Harry Gant were not Harry Gant. Sorry, Neil Bonnet. You could go thirty-one. Yeah. Because nobody has thirty-one. It's a Richard Childress extra car right now, and and that car and that car is just sitting in the garage. That that number is 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 in you know uh, Childress pulls it out every now and again when he wants to give somebody a ride. You know they have extra extra sponsorship dollars. I can I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up also. Give me just a second here. I'm gonna see what numbers are available. What numbers are free? Yeah. And are they are, guys? Are they racing in Chicago this week in a run road course? Is that what the race is? No, no. Okay, they're in Atlanta this weekend. Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just saw an article that said Chicago's ready for a NASCAR street race. So that they were in Chicago. Yeah. Next year. Ah, next year. So. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, they're already on pick 11 in the NHL draft. The Coyotes just made their pick. Mm. I'd say they're only on pick 11. They're already two and a half hours in that, an hour and a half into this thing. <laughs> yeah. imagine, imagine, imagine if we did that same show for the NHL draft, we'd be here all night. Exactly. <laughs> We'd be here all night. 
doing that. We'd be here for a couple of nights. Yeah. Still going 24-7. Right. Yeah. I mean, when we get to the NFL draft, we are exhausted by the time that's over. The number uh, 13 is available. Nobody will run that. Yeah. Bad luck. Of course, we know there's a number seven car. Yep. There's number three. Right. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Well, AJ Armendinger has a number 16, so that's out. Yep. Steve Parks owns it, owns, uh, owns the number one. Yep. Twenty eight available. I just can't see anybody running twenty eight. Not after. Not okay, after. here we go. NASCAR numbers not used. Okay, o two, o three, o four, o five, o eight, thirty five, thirty six, fifty, fifty seven, sixty one. 63, 65, 67, 68, 69, 70, 74, 76, 79, 82, 84, 93, 94, 95. Uh, Hendrick must still own the 88 then. Do you, do, you, do you think that he would give up that car if Junior came back? Okay. Current, current. Cup Series star and, and Henrik Motorsport teammate William Byron, Chase Elliott, and Carl Larson were combined to be behind the wheel of the number 88 Chevy Camaro. Oh, that was last year. <clears throat> but they're saying also that uh, they can run double double number uh, double uh, number cars in NASCAR. That would be too confusing. Yeah, it would be. It's confusing so saying, watching college football when you have <laughs> two numbers yeah. on one on offense and one on defense. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say when Junior comes in, I'm gonna say he's probably gonna run the number sixty seven and sixty eight. No one drives eighty eight. <laughs> But then again, you know, one of the sponsors for Junior could be Budweiser because him and Budweiser had a real good relationship. That they did. Because that's wasn't that who he raced with prior to going to Hendrick when he switched to eighty eight. What was his major sponsor when he was eighty eight? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Budweiser was yeah. his main sponsor. Yeah. And how can we think when Junior got out of the number eighty eight? How can we think Budweiser left? And they went to the nine. What's the case of yep. Kane? But uh, Budweiser is associate sponsor on the number nine. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Napa, Napa is his uh, main sponsor. Budweiser isn't in Cup at all. It hasn't been for years. Hasn't been since Casey Kane left the uh, left and went over to Hendrick. Hendrick won't have uh, beer. Okay, so uh, they could. Budweiser could come back and Budweiser uh, could go over to Junior and 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 be on the on a, a Junior Motorsports car if they wanted to come back in. I think I just I can't think, see I just can't see any any major beer brands getting back into the sport right now. Budweiser being the one exception if for one year to run with Junior one last time to run an '88 Bud scheme one last run before Junior officially officially retires. I just don't see Junior coming back with, you know, he's a Hall of Famer now. He's got nothing left to prove. And if he has a terrible year, it taints his reputation for forever. Well, like like, like you were saying, and I agree with you on that, Adam. He may come back and run for one year to get everything lined up, get the sponsors lined up. Yeah. Get the cars dialed in, get the crew chiefs and the crew set up. Serious. Then after that year, after he gets everything set up, get out of the car. And get back out of the car. Just the only the thing that I can't, the thing about it for me is that, you know, the reason he got out of the car five years ago is because of the concussion. Exactly. And 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 can he get medically cleared to race? More than just a one-off here and there. You know, he's medically, you know, he can get medically cleared for a one-off. Like, he'll run Darlington once a year. He'll run the throwback in the Xfinity. But can he, can he physically, you know, he's been on the car for five years, right? 
can he make can he get back into the physical condition that you need to be in to drive a race car? You know, people don't think you need to be physically fit to drive. Well, you're just sitting there. Mm -hmm. And but look at Nashville, what three weeks ago now, and those guys were exhausted. It was hot. It was muggy. Well, wow, there was a two-hour <laughs> rain delay. And then at 11 o'clock, they get going again, or 10.30, wherever the hell time it was. 10.30. 10.30, was it? Yeah. 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 And, and, and it went another hour, and you're at the track all day. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's, it's maintaining your physical fitness for 40 weeks out of the year. It, it's not just a one-off, you know, it's not just a get in the car and do the thing and then go home. And then you, no. you know, it, it's it's regimented, it's structured. There's so much, and Junior has so much go, more going on now outside of racing than he ever did five years ago when he was racing. True. So, I want to look at one thing real quick over on the Uber tubes. Uh, yeah, uh, he has that. He has that series on Peacock called uh, Lost Speedways. Yep. Uh, anyway, it's Derek Junior download. But uh, I don't know. If, been, I don't know if Peacock's going to bring Lost Speed Loads back for a third season or not. I don't know. And he's been doing he he's been doing the Dale Junior download for about four years now. And you know he didn't start that until after he got out of the car. The the you know. And full also, time. and also he's got a, a YouTube channel that he does a lot of uh, broadcasting on. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Is the Dale Junior download. So, and plus he's got he plus he's got a little girl he has to worry about. Yeah, and when he's married, he's got there's so many other obligations that he has now that he didn't have five years ago when he was racing full time and he was married to the cup. And and what does he have to prove? What's left for him to do? You know, and and the the worst thing that the, there's nothing there's no upside to it. There's no, no upside no. to getting back in the car. You know, when he's when he, he hasn't run the new car at all. So it's a huge learning curve to, to well, master he, the new car. He has, he has practice in the new in the next gen car because when NASCAR was developing it, he did mm -hmm. he did some tests. He did and some he tests did to test, to run for him. And he did just test at um North Wilkesboro a couple weeks ago in an eighty eight. Yeah. So um, never say never. So it's a possibility that he may stay yeah. for for a year. Just to get this yep. get the NASCAR team up and running, and see what things yep. are going to land. And then after that, you know, after he finds drivers, sponsors, crew chiefs, crews, you yep. know, step out of the car. I wonder if they're going to be a Hendrick affiliate. And just stick to man. Just stick. Just stick to his two teams. One in one in the Xfinity and one in the NASCAR. Yeah. But yeah. But anything's possible. Indeed. Well, yeah, you, you, I don't think you can ever really count anybody out. As long as they're physically able to do what they do, you can't count them out. I don't, you know, it doesn't even exist. You and that can't is, count them out. And know? that brings up another interesting story I heard. RG3, yes, Robert Griffin III, he yep, said yep. he's ready to come back. Ooh. I heard that too. Yeah, I both, heard. both ACLs torn and he's going to come. Wow, good for him. Uh, I don't know about that though. He's not, been not a good ass deal. Well, no, I mean he's been out of the game for way too long too. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, I know the NF. It, it, the guys are stronger, faster. You have no reaction time. You're dead meat. And if you have no, right. he's with these you're linebackers. Dead meat. These linebackers yeah. coming out of college being three, three ninety, yeah. four hundred pounds. A well, look at. Look at the uh, Adam's hat, Hutchinson. That kid is a stud. Oh, Wait yeah, he's gonna get his own kill. kill to that Detroit. Kid, that kid is a side of beef gone bad. When was the last time Michigan won a national championship? I don't know why that question came up, but I was that's got to be Rich huh. asking that question. What's that? What was that question? When was the last time the Wolverines won a national championship? 97. What's it doing? He's asking that question, but. The NF, uh, speaking of that, the National Hockey League released their 2022-2023 yep. schedule. I had heard about it. I haven't seen the schedule yet. I haven't either. Uh, actually, hang on just a second, guys. I will share it with you guys just in a quick sec. Hang on just a second. 
This is right from the source itself, NHL.com. So this is not anybody Seems else's. Like a pretty legit source. <laughs> not anybody congratulations else. Congratulations to congratulations to the, the Birmingham Stallions on winning the winning that championship. That was a yep. game. Yeah, we uh let's see here. All right. Let me know. Yeah, I need to blow it up a little bit. Let me know if I need to blow it up a little yeah, okay, bit. Okay. Because I will do that. All right. So it doesn't really it kind of breaks it down. Um, well, how can you see it? Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me uh, let me make it bigger. Hang on a second. Upgrade it here. Who has an attitude problem? Who has an attitude? Problem? Who said that? Rich. Rich. Oh, okay. Uh, that dude has an attitude problem later, Bradley. Oh me? I don't have an attitude problem, but okay. <laughs> anyway. The um, okay. the season will begin on October 11th, and the Rangers oh, actually, will be uh, Lightning in the the Avalanche will raise their banner the next night before their game against the Chicago Blackhawks. Well, actually, the season will begin October 7th out in, uh, out in uh, uncharted waters. The 11th will be the North American home opener. Is that um? Lou, is that the the Knights? Are the Knights? we the, the 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 Golden Knights are playing some preseason game in like Idaho or something. I saw. I didn't, something. Get, that, I didn't get back to that the preseason stuff, but yeah. Uh, all I know is that the um the, the season's gonna start overseas, like in uh, Finland on the seventh. Got it. Got it. Okay. Unless they count that as preseason, I doubt it. But there, it, there it is, right there. There it is, Lou. The Nashville uh, Predators and San Jose Sharks will begin their regular season with two games in the 2022 NHL Global Series at O2 Arena in Prague on October 7th. Prague. And 8th. Isn't that in the Czech Republic? Correct. Yes. yes. Those will be the NHL's first games in Europe since 2019. And I believe the Lightning were there in Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, they were. Sounds about right. The Predators versus the Shark. Wow. What do you think? That's, that's going to be, be nasty, though. The Global Series will also include two games between the Avalanche and Blue Jackets at Noki Arena in Tempe or Finland. That's the one. That's the one. I know in Finland. The Lightning will visit the Rangers in Madison Square Garden in a rematch of the 2022 Eastern Conference Final. Yep. The Bay won in six games before the Golden Knights visit the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. The Bruins will visit the Capitals in <sighs> D.C. Um, the Blackhawks will host... The Avalanche at Ball One. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Colorado will host the Blackhawks at their home at 9 uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what happened? I know who he's talking about now. Yeah, he's talking about Adam. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm not sure what Adam has an attitude about, but okay. I don't see no attitude. What? I, see either. I don't know him either. The 2022 NHL. I'm just my mouth closed because he's the one that comes in here flipping us off every single week. So, right. If anybody's got an attitude problem, double header. You might want to look in the mirror before you uh, catch the Spurgeons, buddy. Right. So, on November 25th, there'll be two games on Thanksgiving Day. The Penguins will visit the Flyers and the Lightning will host the Blues. Oh, man. Yeah. I could go see a game on Thanksgiving Day. In Tampa, my sister's birthday. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I they're gonna try, they're gonna try and compete with the NFL, huh? That's I right. So, is there, isn't there isn't there three games now on the schedule? In the, yeah, in, yeah, yep. it's been that way for a few years now. Yes, the NHL Winter Classic between the Bruins and Penguins at Fenway Park in Boston. Never seen that for before. The second, January second. Yeah, isn't that an open arena? It is. Yeah. Yeah, park is open. Outdoors, the NHL, the yeah, I was yeah. I was at the game last year, Gerald, in Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, where the tight. It was cold. It got it. It got down into the twenty mid twenties. After once the sun went down, then it got cold. <laughs> once the oh, sun yeah, went it gets, down, it gets it cold. Cold. I would not go watch a hockey game in, in the winter. I say um, I it's funny. It's funny because yeah. in the stadium, and Bradley, and probably Lou too, I think, if you've been to a couple games at, at Madison, yeah. it's not that cold in the stadium. Yeah. No. 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 I thought I was – because I've never been – I've only ever been to high school hockey. 
So I was expecting it to be cold. So I wore a sweater and sweatshirt, and, and you know, it's, it's ready for it to be, you know, chilly. And I'm all the way up at the top. I mean, I wasn't even thinking about hot air rising or anything. And, um, <laughs> well, so yeah, I got a little bit toasty. Don't forget, also bring your electric underwear, too. Uh, well, hockey, day, is, yeah. Yeah, hockey Day in Canada will have all seven Indian base teams in action on the 21st of January. That's pretty cool. Yeah. How, 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 yeah. And then the Panthers will be hosting the All-Star game. I will have to say this. That arena in Sunrise is pretty freaking cool. I've been there a handful of times. Mm-hmm. It's a about a four-and-a-half, five-hour drive for me. Um, we make a, a day trip out of it. We'll leave early in the morning on the day of the game, drive down and stay the night, and then come back the next day after. We, oh, right, right, right. It's one of those, you know, overnight things. Usually we try to go on a Friday night where you don't have to get up early Saturday as long as you're out of the hotel by 11 o'clock. But most of the time it's it's that way. Um, a rematch of the Stanley Cup final. The Avalanche will host the Lightning. When the Avalanche visit the Lightning on February 9th. And then the Lightning will go to Colorado on, on Valentine's Day. Okay, nice. <laughs> the uh, another stadium series game. The Carolina Hurricanes will be the, that'll be the first time they've been in an outdoor game. They'll be playing at Carter Finley Stadium, home of the North Carolina State Wolf Pack, cool. in Raleigh, on February eighteenth. Each of the thirty-two teams will play three or four games against the seven other teams. In its division, three games against the eight teams in the other division, and its conference in two games against the 16 teams in the other conference. The regular season concludes with the 15 games on April 13th. Okie dokie. So that is, um, and did I see that uh, Mike Greer is the first black general manager in the National Hockey League? In the Sharks. In the Sharks, right? For San Jose? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. And like I said, uh, the NHL draft is currently still going. going. Still going on. So, yeah. 2022, the first pick went to Montreal. I think I don't know. I don't know if it was that. That was a surprise first pick. I don't know if he was no, one of the I guys. So I don't know why. I don't know what people were thinking, but that was expected. The first about pick. the NH, NH, NHL uh, draft. Where mm-hmm. did they find the players at? All over the world. All over the world. Oh, so they don't they don't get them out of college or anything. They can college, they college, can. juniors, juniors, the junior juniors. leagues. Yeah, and then yeah. elite leagues around the world. Correct, the elite leagues around the world: Finland, the, Sweden, like Germany, Swedish Russia. Yes. Yep. The KHL, yes. WH, you know, like the OHL. Western Hockey League in Canada, the OHL, yep, the, OHL. the Ontario yep. League, the yep. NCAA. Yeah. All over the, all and over then the you, world. Sometimes, General, that if you're in college and you get drafted, sometimes they'll let you go back and play another year in college. Depends on how many years you have left. Yeah, if you have, yeah. So you, if you're draft eligible, eligible. In your sophomore year. Yeah, if so you're, you're, somebody can pick up your rights, and correct. then you go back to school. Correct. Finish your career. You finish your college career. Mm-hmm. And then, if your team, your original team, wants you still wants you, or if you still want to, you know, go there. You can, or you can re-enter the draft after your senior season and Correct. get redrafted. So that's how that works. So you can end up going back to college, finishing your collegiate career. So if you say you were a top five pick and you're going in like pick 15 through 20, I'm going to go back to college and I'm going to go play another year and I'm going to get picked number five or number one. Yeah. That could happen. That's that's yeah. something that can happen in college football. Or you can just sign with your – or you can just sign with the team that drafted you. Correct. That's you don't correct. have to go. You can you you can choose to go back to school, um, or you can you know if you're drafted, you know if you're drafted 18th and you're a marginal kind of guy, if you want, you don't have to go back to school. You can just sign with your team and go be go get in the farm system if you if that's what you want, or you can go back to school, mm-hmm. or um, it's not like it's not like the NFL where you know the NFL is a um, in a kind of a one and done system where if you don't make a roster. In you know, in that out of school, you're probably not getting. You're probably not. You know, the the odds of you actually getting to play are are become steadily worse and worse. Yeah. Um, and the NHL is a lot like baseball in that regard, and the NBA, yeah, where where you go, I mean, there's so many developmental leagues. 
you can play in the W and then the uh, uh, depends on what, how old you are. You can play in under under eighteen leagues. You can play under twenty leagues. You can play in, in Canada. You can play in Europe. You can play in China. You can play all over the world and still maintain your eligibility. And then if if somebody you know, let's say you're twenty two and you know you finished your senior year in in college and nobody picked you up and you went to the the uh, Swedish elite leagues and developed your skills out there and somebody comes across your tape and says, oh hey. Well, we'll take him in the draft, or they can sign you as an unrestricted free agent or anything like that. That's kind of what, kind of what I think that the um, XFL and the USFL, if they stick around, will become over the next couple of years, mm-hmm. is that developmental leagues for some below, or not top tier, NFL talent. Correct. Yeah. And that is how that works, and. There's my attitude on it, so uh, huh. rearing its ugly head again, apparently. Yeah, and watch the attitude. I know, right? Because I because he asked me a flippant question, I gave him a flippant answer. I mean, you ask me a jackass it's question, you're gonna, you're gonna get a jackass answer. I mean, what do you want from me? Right. It's my show, and I'll answer it however I damn well please. If you don't like it, don't watch. Don't forget yeah. to tell your friends about me. I mean, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Give him the California howdy. Right. Right. I'll give you a give you two England style. Okay. Uh, All right. Let me. I'm gonna dive in. There's the fingers again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at you, Rich. Um, again, you I, ain't I, my I, I, uh, I, 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 I don't. I digress. I don't know what. Any, yeah, um, indeed. Well, you're discovering the new topic. I just I don't know where that came came out of left field because he's always talking mad junk to us. I'll give it right back to him, man. I don't know what he's talking about in attitude. I mean, this is the only attitude I have. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah. I'm 30 years old. I'm too old to change at this point. Hey, Brad. At the, after the show, I need to uh, get with you. I got something I need to talk to you about. Sounds good, my man. Sounds well, if you got a problem with me? I'm right here. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I couldn't I resist. A, if I got a problem with you, I I come out and tell you you. Suck. <laughs> I, I was like, gonna say he probably would just tell you right on air. Right. right on no, air. I just the way what we've been going on for the last couple of minutes, and, and then the way he no, died and talked talk you out of the show. It's like, yeah. something to do with my show that I want to talk to uh, Brad about. Okay, cool. And I ain't got anywhere uh, to be. If you don't mind, I'll hang out and offer my advice. Well, what I was going to talk to him about was seeing if uh, his uh, see if his uh, sponsors would like to sponsor my show also. Oh, okay. How about mine? And and lose. Well, the the one from the one that um the Jared Scarrett sing that's through Ralph. Got to talk right. to right. Ralph about that okay. one. I don't have any control over that. No sense. As far as my my sponsor goes, you I I can give you her information and she can let you know. Okay, about. well, if you can just okay. send me that yeah. information to my inbox, sure. I, I can work them in. No problem, guys. I don't. I don't have. I don't have a problem with it at all. Okay. All right. So I, I was looking for. If I can talk to them, they might be able to do. Might be able to help with Kevin's show. Kev's uh, show too. I was yeah. looking for this logo, and I and I finally found a picture, and I wanted to. This is what I was searching for, real quick. I wanted to bring this up. There we go. Perfect. I wanted to bring this background up or, because. Oh, boing ball, boing ball. So you look at this. Now, obviously, you see Live Golf and you see the PJ Tour logo together. Now, obviously, we know that's not happening. That's never going to happen. Of course, they're hoping it does happen, but I don't don't see that happening right now. Somebody Uh, somebody out there wishful thinking, huh? Yeah. uh, I just saw this logo earlier, and I go, you know what? I've got to find it. I was able to refund it again. Um, now, not this week, but next week is the Open Championship in St. Andrews. Yes. Um, again, the Live Golf guys will be there because, again, the PGA has nothing to do with the Open Championship because it's in it's in in Europe. It's the RNA that runs that tournament. Yeah, they said that they weren't going to allow any of the Live guys, right? Am yeah. I, is that? I always to do the PGA. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, and it's an open tournament, so they can't stop anybody from playing. Right. That's, that's the thing because it's the open championship. Um, it's where is it? The hundred fiftieth blue? Is that what it is? Hundred fifty. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. At St. Andrews. Um, yeah, Andrews is playing for eighteen seventy two. Yeah. The, wow. it, it, St. Andrews well, is don't forget, it, it skipped the year because of the pandemic. So pandemic. And I, you weren't there. Weren't there years too that it was skipped during the war? During uh, I was wondering. Or World War One and Two. I think it may have been. I don't know. I could be wrong. That was Maybe Wimbledon. I, that was Wimbledon. Oh, that was, oh, that was Wimbledon. Okay. I knew some, things the, were, some things weren't done and some things were done. Like, yeah. it was yeah. really weird what things were and weren't done. Right. During the they, they were talking to Roy McElroy. They're, what are they okay. playing? The Genesis Ireland Open or something this week? They yes. in Ireland this week. And he said that, that they wonderful. hope. He hopes that the Live and PJ Tour can come to an agreement. Um, I know they're very, very far they away. Are. They're, they're, they're far. They're very, they're, 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 they're way far away. <laughs> Big worlds apart. Um, yeah. Um, but it says, uh, "Live golfers think of the PJ Tour increase." Um, now the PJ has increased their money, but then again, when you're being backed by billions of dollars in oil money it's kind of hard just saying it's kind of hard yeah kinda yeah hard. it is um because the pga tour doesn't have that kind of funding again it's just like the nfl versus the usfl when you have billions of dollars at your mm-hmm. disposal your league is going to be better obviously the live tour is a far far away from what the pga tour as far as tournaments go i'm not saying as far as money and talent i'm yeah, just yeah straight up that they only have I forget how many tournaments they have set scheduled but you know when, now I, I will say this let's say for example guys down the road that live has four majors too and now they're going to compete mm-hmm. against the four majors that the PGA has or then as Lou, as Lou knows you have the players championship which is considered the fifth major at Sawgrass here in the state of Florida or you have the um what's Jack's tournament um Memorial. Memorial. Memorial is another one that they consider what could be close to a major. Now, if you guys don't know, back back in the day, these tournaments used to be match play. Now, what match play is, is it would be the four of us, but we would play, I'd play against Adam, Lou would play against Gerald, and then the winner of the two matches would play for the championship. Mm-hmm. It's not I like that. that. Now it's stroke play. It's completely changed. Yes. When Bobby Jones played, it was match um, Bobby Jones is the only golfer on ever that has ever had the career Grand Slam. Her Grand Slam is all four majors in the same year. He's the only one that's ever done it. Now, in his heyday, there was no Masters because obviously he created the golf tournament. So there was no Masters championship when he was in it. But the Tiger's been the closest. I think he held the what they call the calendar Grand Slam, where I think he held all four majors consecutively. But he's never won all four in the same year. Jack no. Nicholas never won all four in the same year. Arnold Palmer never won all four in the same year. Neither uh, any of us. Yeah, list goes down. Hey, right? I know, right? So, um, but yeah. So I mean, again, you know, I wanted to bring this up that you know these two leagues are very, very far apart. Obviously, we know the situation. We know where the money's coming from. Um. Uh, and there are a lot of people out there that don't like it because Saudi Arabia was the one who sent the terrorists for 9-11 and all kinds of other terrorist attacks that have happened around the world have branched from Saudi Arabia. So the Middle East is just a, just a bad place in general. Um, as yeah. that, not if, the people, just the I, overall, you know. If I may interject in that uh, just a little bit. Um it's not so much that they were sent by the Saudis, is that they were just they were from Saudi Arabia. And that's that to me is a very big yeah. distinguishing difference. It, it's kind of it's like it's like saying that you know Americans, you know, like if a, if an American went over overseas and blew something up, that wouldn't be in a, it wouldn't be the United States government doing that. And right. and, we, and as much right. as, because we can look at things that are going on in our own country right now. Yeah. 
that the rest of the world considers to be human rights violations and and you know things that we, we you know we take for granted as just things that we have yes. and so you know to cast aspersions on other people is not you know it's you know to to blame the whole for the sum of its parts whereas in my opinion and i i don't know maybe i'm wrong and feel free to correct me in that comment section again please do but i don't think that the saudi government is sponsoring terrorism um and, and i think i think that's you know i mean i think every country in the world could be better i don't think there's a perfect country you show me a perfect country and i'll show you a, i'll show you starving children and um antarctica uh i mean unless you're a penguin antarctica's pretty pretty cold this time of year yeah so you know there's there's no I tried i tried you know there's no there's no perfect country no there are good countries there are bad countries and then there are and then there's everything in between and so to i mean you know well, the, and thing then, well, that, the, the thing is i don't get that you know back in saudi arabia and saudi arabia the u.s you know aren't exactly you know you know like really close in with each other they're like you know like you know the, on the, but the, the neighbor down the street that you know but you really don't hang out with because he's kind of weird and he's got one of those weird flags that you don't really like and you don't really want to associate with them but he makes the best bratwurst day so you bet mm -hmm. you you know you're going over there for the barbecue uh -huh. um yeah, but we're all trying to kill each other. I mean, like, yeah, to, yeah. We, we we just can't we just can't stand each other. <laughs> right, right. You stand you know, on your. So why would you want to go? To, why would you go with the enemy? Stands at that fence line, and you really don't interact with each other. But he makes killer potato salad, so yeah, you gotta yeah. go over to his barbecue. <laughs> oh boy. Well, that's I just I just I guess that I saw the logo of the bin comments about the two. Leaders, no, no. So. Yeah. No, I I wasn't trying to imply that you were making that, that those were your opinions or your thoughts, but um, I just wanted to jump in there and kind of you know elaborate on on my feelings on the whole yeah. Saudi situation. Um, again, I I think that oh no, this is what I was where I was going with that was that you know I think it's a great way for us to reach out to the rest of the world and impress our values on them without violence, at the not at the point of the gun. Where we can, where they can see that you know, we come over there, we spend our money, well, we go home. We don't want to be over there telling them how to live their lives no, and what to no. do and and how to how to eat live. What was it? Eat, pray, love, whatever it was. But um, you know, you can still slam in the nest with a golf club, you know. So that's a. I mean, you can. <laughs> I do that too. I Why mean, you we have the her? bomb. So, at the end of the day, we have the bomb, and mm. um. Gun you know, um, you know, and I think that, that you know, the, the, the gunboat di diplomacy that we've been trying to do for the last 60 years, where yeah. we have the biggest stick and we're not afraid to use it, is right. not always the best policy where we can we can go over there and we can play golf with them and we can be friendly and, and we can exchange ideas and, and 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 cultures and customs and they can see that it's OK to let women drive. And we can, you know, and, and we can re and impress upon them the idea of religious tolerance. Yes. And allowing people to be, you know, free and open and that, you know, and that they're, but they're not, they're not bad people and that we can respect them as people. We can understand right. that yeah. there's just, yeah. you know, it's, it's respect. It's, 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 um, that they do things differently than we, than we do. And we understand that. And, and we're not over there to impose our will on them. It's that, that, that there are people that, you know that we're over there to stop the people that would impose their will on other people. That's that's where we we're we're coming from. Is that we don't want to tell them how to live their lives as long as they're not trying to impose their will on other people. Yes. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, just like you said, Bud, a couple weeks ago, and I know a lot of people will disagree with it, but I do agree. This is good for the game of golf. Why? Thank more you. eyes, more press on what's going on. Pain it's got us talking about it for 20 minutes where yeah. normally we have if we're do if we're discussing golf it's old stuff it's not new stuff it's not the things that are happening now well, unless there's would, a major going on we would be yeah so we'd be previewing the open championship but next week the 70 show will be going on but we would be previewing right on a, on, a, on, on a related note like you know to, to kind of tie that back in you know it's like if we were doing, if we had a, a traditional show or a regular show, what do you want to look at it? You know, um, 
I'd say original, but none of this is original. Um, <laughs> um, you know, we would, be, you know, we'd be previewing the open, but we wouldn't be looking at any other golf. No, we'd do right. five or ten minutes on the open, and we talk about how Tiger's not himself anymore, and how the nineties were so much better, and then we'd move on. And with this live golf going on, we have more golf to talk about. You know, right. And I think I think it's good for the game of golf, and I think it's good for I think it's good for any sport to have more stuff going on. Absolutely. Whenever there's a big brouhaha, where there's you know a fight or a whatever, mm-hmm. but um, you know it's always good for the sport. Yeah. Well, Rich, what yeah. Tiger's doing? Tiger is. I saw. I was. I got my hair cut on Tuesday and in the barber shop. So Tiger. Um, Tiger has yeah, Tiger's been it. playing well. He didn't play yeah. very well in Ireland, and he's going to Scotland to play with Rory. Um, that leg is still not even close to 100%. No. He's I mean, you know, what, what, what he shoot? Was, what was his last tournament? Help me here because I don't. I think he, he didn't play in the U. He, did, he played in the U.S. Open, right? And he, he was it the last? Was the no, open? no. He didn't was play the last. Exactly. With the PGA that he the dropped PGA out of? PGA championship. PGA okay. Championship. Well, he shot. He shot. A five over seventy six and dropped out, right? Yeah. yeah. He shot a five over seventy six on a bat on a bum wheel, right? The, the man can barely right. walk, and he shot a seventy six for crying out loud. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ! Yeah. I, I, I I'd be good to shoot seventy six on nine, <laughs> let alone eighteen. So I mean, let's cut. Let's give him a little bit here. Like, well, no. Get it is due. <laughs> Well, no, I'm not. I'm not taking anything away from him. No, and I, I, I wasn't. The dude, I wasn't the dude saying won, that. Dude. The dude won. The dude won. Uh, won the U.S. Open on a broken leg. So, so I mean, come on. Yeah, now. yeah I know. You know, I'm just. So, I'm I mean, just. I, I'm just saying that you know that that the media is ready to kill it. You know, it's hey, he's past his prime. He's just trying to hang it well, up. He's past his prime. He's 45 years old for crying out loud. He's not some young kid anymore. He's, what? he's, he's 45 years old. He had two broken legs, and he still shot a 76 on 18. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. mean, I, I know it was five over. It was a five over 76. Yeah. Well, and you, and you hear what's gonna be funny. Let's say he somehow does make the cut next week. Right. He makes the cut at St. Andrews. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see how. Yeah, yeah. We'll, how, we'll know how he does. Not at all. But again, uh. The MLB, we'll move on to MLB. It looks like Rob Manfred wants to have the robot umps by 2024. Oh, God. And I guess he wants to expand. Are you ready for this? He wants to expand to 32 teams. So he wants to add two more teams to MLB. They have 30 teams, right? Am I right? Yes. I'm all right. Expansion to 32 teams. Could you imagine that? Robot baseball players? That'd be yeah. great. Did you imagine someone trying to, uh, somebody sitting there with a keyboard controlling the robot, and there's somebody else there sitting with another keyboard controlling the pitching robot? Well, yeah, that's the two experiences are going to be. They're going to be played. They're going to be played by robots. I'm, I'm good with it. I, I'm interested. I'd watch robot baseball. Here's, here's, here's a name that that is popping up. Rob Manfred said he's willing to listen to Pete Rose. Interesting. What? Um, let's see, like naming, <laughs> uh, naming. And of Pete Rose, the all-time hits leader, has reportedly submitted a third petition for reinstatement, and his lawyers Whoa. are arguing. Knock me over with a feather. Yeah, we're a brick. Oh no, you don't need him. <laughs> you need a brick. I, 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 shit. I'd if I'd have known that, I'd have put a hundred bucks on it two years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I'm just, not never just saying, know how. Yeah. Um. And, and I want. What? Oh, I just I've, I've gone on the record on this show saying that I thought there was no way in hell, there was not a snowball's chance in my or anybody else's Amy that Pete Rose was ever going to make the Baseball Hall of Fame while yeah. the heads were still alive. Well, anybody that, that still remembered him from back in the day, in, in, the, you know, in the 60s and 70s, would, 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 in, the, in the 80s when he was managing the Reds, when he got caught up in, in betting on Reds baseball, mm-hmm. because he did bet on Reds baseball. Yes, he did. Well, he was a manager. Um, yeah, I would have said, I said, no way, no how, not no never. Is he gonna? Is, is anyone even gonna entertain the idea of him going into the Hall of Fame? So, well, if there's any, well, if there's, Rob Manfred is the worst man. Is the worst 
uh, I, commissioner and all. I was, just gonna, I was just gonna bring that up. If there was a commissioner that would allow him to come back, it would be Rob Manfred. He's already right. Manfred's oh, yeah. already oh, up no shit without a paddle. Also. He's already up shit creek without a paddle with the lockout. So he's yeah. already already pissed off. But again, at the end of the day, but I mean, look at the, the owners season. continue to back him, and that's the and they continue and, and they continue to make money hand over fist. Correct. If you want baseball to change, if you want baseball to be different, if you're not happy with the way the state of baseball today, and you want to make a difference, you cancel your season tickets, you don't buy the the, the hot dogs and the sodas, you don't buy the jerseys, you don't spend the money, you make the owners pay. You don't pay for parking. You don't go to the stadium. You don't pay for MLB any MLB ticket. You don't shut pay for MLB.tv. Right. Next innings, whatever. MLB.tv. Yeah, that's you the shut thing. it off. You yes. shut them out. You lock your you lock out. But but, but I got Yankees. I got Yankee socks on that's right not, now, and yeah. there isn't an empty stadium in the house. Or empty not, seat. A, not those. Well, things. Yankees and Red Sox, no way. Yeah, not but but things. baseball and baseball will never change because you're not telling them you want change. All you're telling them is that you'll you'll pay for their product. Why would I change if you're buying the damn product? Yeah. What incentive does does Major League Baseball have to change? You're None. buying the product. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they want to have um a pitch clock that would be 14 seconds. Yep. Between pitches, the base is empty, or eighteen to nineteen with runners on base. Yes. I also heard that they are going to expand the bases. They're going to make the bases bigger. Yeah. By an yeah. inch. I heard that. That. Six inches. Uh, that like will. That's going to help. I, I guess stealing bases or something like that. It's to stop people from colliding at first base. Oh, I got you. Okay. They're going to make. They're gonna make so the bags a little bit bigger. I think I think they're expanding it by three inches. They're gonna make it three inches. I think they're going from eighteen to twenty-one, so that the so that the first baseman can stand more can stand further like away to avoid collisions at first base. Yes. Well, and they and they took the collision from the catcher, right? You can't hit yeah, the catcher. Yeah, they did right? that years ago when so Dustin uh, Buster Posey got destroyed. Yeah. So you can't. So they've taken that out. So that's good. I mean, that's player safety. Yeah, yes. they're trying to take exactly. into a fact that the first baseman get first baseman, excuse me, get knocked over. So that's yeah, that's good. That that's a good thing. Well, and I was saying, well, I was gonna bring it up during the NHL segment, and and, and kind of, but we we kind of, I I forgot about it at that point. But um, no problem. Brad, Brad Marchant or Brad Marchman passed Marchand. away this past uh, this over oh during the week. Did he really? Funny. I didn't hear about that. Um, no, Brad? no, not him. Oh, Sorry. Brian, Brian Marchman. Sorry, no. Oh, Brian Marchman. Okay. Yeah, he passed. I was like, he was wow. 50. Okay. He was fifty. You know, he uh, he was only fifty-three, and I was thinking about, I was thinking about all the, all you know, I saw. So this kind of kind of ties back into baseball. Um, just kind of bring it off full circle because I'm good at that. Um, um, and there was a guy who. Um, I think he played for the Twins, and I could be wrong, and I don't remember. I just saw yeah. blurb, and people were were clowning him for taking an extra day of rest because his legs were stiff. And he, and, he, and I was like, yeah. and I was thinking about Brad March, uh, Brian Marchman, um, you know, dying at 53, and they they hadn't disclosed how he died, but I was thinking about the wear and tear of playing 15 years in the NHL and being an enforcer, and getting punched in the head repeatedly, and how how bad for your health getting punched in the head is. And I was. Oh, thinking, and I, and people want to clown guys for not wanting to play every day. I know hey, it's just his legs are sore. Why would he want? Well, and, and but if they, but if he goes out and plays, right? If he goes out and plays and, and blows out a blows out a knee or tears a hamstring off the bone, you know why didn't he take the day off? If he knew that he was in, if he knew that he was he wasn't feeling it, why didn't he take the day off? Now he's going to be on the shelf for two months rehabbing an injury. So why didn't he take the time off? Because if you take the time off, you get clowned. If you don't take the time off, you get clowned. And there's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Exactly. And, and I'm I'm of the opinion that if you ain't feeling it, don't play. Don't you're play. better off. You're 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 well, more you're more detriment to your team. And and again, and, and you know we're looking at all these guys with like genius layout. Oh, that's you know, um, Vincent was it Vincent Jackson? 
last Vincent year. Vincent Jackson. Yep. Vincent Jackson. Yep. Fucking your wide receiver. Yep. I mean, these guys are in their forties and fifties. I mean, for Christ's sake, Vin, uh, Jim McMahon has to have fluid drained off his brain every week so he doesn't freaking die. Yep. Yeah. yeah. True. And, and 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 you know and and and, and people complain about sports being soft. And, and, and it's, no, it's wow. soft. And and I'm sure I'm sure Brad's heard it. I uh, I'm sure Gerald's heard it. And the players today are soft. I mean, like, yeah, sure they're soft it's because they don't want to die at 35 exactly. from traumatic brain injury. Well, why why do you think guys like Barry Sanders and Calvin Johnson and those guys up. step the way? Because it's not worth it. You made Correct. your money, get out while you're still while you still can. It's not worth it. Did we lose Brad? He froze. Uh huh. Uh huh. See that, Adam? That's what you get for talking about Antarctica. You done froze Brad. Ah, damn. Damn. Uh -huh. Um, but you know, you know, I, I, I think it's, 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 it's couch potatoes who haven't played, who haven't played organized sports in 30 years since they peaked in high school complaining about guys taking a day off so that they can get right yeah, yeah. oh he finally sold out ah oh, welcome back from antarctica how was your trip yeah good <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it, it, might, it, might, it might be my internet might be kind of wacky but what's uh, going on down there bud did you see yeah. any penguins i'm sorry did you see any penguins no, nah, I missed the penguins. <laughs> but um, no, I, I, the, the All Star Game, the nom, uh, the players will be announced. I think tomorrow at seven o'clock. Yeah, the MLB. Um, MLB. Speaking of, speaking of All Stars, did you see that? Um, the commissioner has the ability to nominate to, uh, or not even nominate, appoint an All Star now. Well. <laughs> Oh wow! This commercial, this commission is whacked. Uh, it's oh. in the CBA. It, it, they go. It, it is in the CBA. It is perfectly legal. I'll give the CBA. I know, right? Well, that's Bring weird. The okay. Um. What well, I know, the manager for the American League is Dusty Baker, and the National League manager is um, Dave Roberts, right? From the yeah. Dodgers. Interesting yeah. fact on Dusty Baker, uh, Brad. You know he's from Austin. I did not know. Also, oh, he's no. he's almost home then, right? Because yeah. how far is Austin from Houston? How far are they apart? Or about two two and a half hours. So the capital's not far from Houston. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. He I, most yeah, likely I, it's either going to be Verlander or it's going to be Shane McClanahan, the pitcher for the Rays. It's going to start. That's oh, it's, what it's, I've been hearing. It's got to be Verlander. Be, it's got to be. I'd go, with, I'd go with Verlander. Let him throw. Let him throw gas for an inning and in Verlander. I won't be surprised to see Garrett Cole or anybody else too being there. From what I've, oh, you know, yeah, they'll I, be there. But I would, I would, I'd give Verlander the nod. Yeah, it's, it, it's, yeah, I would do. It's, it's your, your, your manager is the, is the, is the lead guy. I would also, I would also. So who's on the NL side? The National yeah. League side. I haven't really gotten again. I because I'm in a, I'm in a local market where there's an American League team. I don't get the National League guys as often. Um, but I'm gonna guess, like, I would guess the National League starting pitching. Max. Max, I think would probably be one of them. Mad Max. Max. Um, who is this? Who's uh? Is... Uh uh, he went to Antarctica again. Man, is... Yeah. Did did is Corbin Welcome Burns? Back. Corbin Burns on the 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 Brewers? Is he one of them? Too. He might be. Would that be a logic to let's get rid of that? Maybe that's slowing everything down. Um, but yes, so that the All Stars will be announced tomorrow night for MLB. I think the All Star game is a week after next, right? I think next week there's still games. Yes. And the week after that, the they yeah. Take the break. Isn't, the, isn't the All Star game on the nineteenth this year? Yes. Something like that. Yeah, it's on the nineteenth. Yeah. On okay. ESPN, right? Is ESPN hosting it. Or is it uh, Fox? Fox has the All Star game Fox. itself, but ESPN has the um, home run derby. Home run derby, Fox. Okay. 
Derby. I always like the home run derby better than the. Um, so the do game I. Itself. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. I think the MLB All Star Game is probably the best All Star Game of the Big Four. True. Yes. And the reason I say that is because it's an actual game. It's kind of hard to go soft in a in a baseball game. That's take it, true. you know, take it easy. Like you know, the NHL, MLB, NFL, it's a goof, and they're just out there to have fun and, and not get hurt. You know, right. and in, in baseball, you still have to play baseball. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Shall we? Yes, yeah, and the, and actually, back in the day, it actually meant something where whoever won got to host the World Series. So not that anyway. That. Okay, I'm going to our so again, now from what I've been hearing, obviously we do know that USC and UCLA are heading to the Big Ten. Yeah, uh, tell them. Are heading to Big Ten. So that means big money coming to the Big Ten, as far as TV I mean, bigger money. As far as you got the Los Angeles market, which here, here's my question: If they when they do leave the Pac-12, does the does the division sink? I mean, it, where do they go? Who do they get? Colorado. Colorado? Colorado's Mountain West, right? Right. Mountain West, Mountain West. So do you bring in Colorado, Boise State? Good question. They're gonna screw up the whole geographical, you know. Let's see. We'll put the we'll put UC over here in the west. Uh you know, we're gonna move California over to here. Yeah, um, I know, right? Yeah, we're gonna take uh, USC is gonna be here. Gonna well, be I'm hearing here. I'm I'm we're gonna hearing take, I, we're gonna take course, Rutgers, we're gonna put it over here in the west. Uh yeah, right. I'd like to ask Rich about like this because he's a resident Florida State guy, but um, but, uh, I think he's off the right? show. I think he left. Sure. Not currently yeah, with us, but I think he left. I think Rich- yes, yeah. but apparently I have an attitude problem tonight. So same attitude I have every night. Um, yeah. then Kansas goes to the Kansas goes to the West. Wait a minute, yeah, we'll get his cookies. Oh, he's still there. I guess he's still there. He said no. Okay. Um, okay. uh, so as he, um, what I'm hearing, the rumblings that I'm hearing I'm, now is that Clemson, is it uh, Florida State, uh, and there was two others from the AC, ACC that had petitioned with, petitioned, uh, the SEC uh, to, to make the move. Well, that's interesting. That's it. Well, I know at one time we asked FSU to join the SEC, and they turned it down and went to the ACC. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it, it, it. Oh, okay. I see what it is. But the ACC is officially scrapping their yeah. normal yeah. division yeah. Yeah. new scheduling model for the season coming up. Coming up. It's not going to be two divisions anymore. No, correct. No. There will not be two divisions anymore. Well, I don't like two divisions. Well, it was the Atlantic and the Coastal in the ACC is what the divisions were. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> so, so this is what I'm not sure who Donna is. Spokesperson from for somebody. Um, but, but they're saying Miami, Florida State, Clemson, and North Carolina have all talked to the SEC. All four of those teams are going to move to the SEC. That's what they're. That's what they're talking. But they have to get out of their contract. The, um, with the ACC, Florida State has a contract with the ACC through twenty thirty six, which is another fourteen years. So they'd have to get out of that contract before they could they could consider moving to another conference. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. And that's not going to be cheap or easy. Yeah. Or no. Easy. no, no, no. I just I can't imagine if if, if Miami and Florida State and Clemson and North Carolina move to the SEC. What? Hey, what's that? Obviously, that's going to be you know different for football, but basketball too. Imagine yeah, North Carolina, who's been a absolute stud in the ACC for years, moves to the SEC, and now plays Kentucky. Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> and now they play Alabama instead of yeah. instead of Duke. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I could just you know, it's gonna be a mess when they came over to the 
come over I think the- it's I honestly I think it's gonna come down to this. It's gonna be two divisions. It's gonna be the SEC and the Big Ten. When it's yeah, all yeah. Probably done, that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah, we've been predicting that for two years now. We've been talking about that ever since um Texas and Oklahoma started flirting with the SEC. Yep. And then in, then in ten years, by twenty thirty, then we're gonna there's only gonna be two divisions. Yep. Yep. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna come down. Who would the ball? Well, yeah. at the and then I heard today on the radio yeah. that they're gonna the college football is gonna try to get out of just running itself instead of the NCAA running. So we'll see how that works out too. <laughs> but I don't, I don't get that. No, I don't get that either. I, I don't. I mean, get well, that. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I didn't know what you meant. I didn't know you are gonna try to watch. There's, I mean, the SEC will be there. The ACC, if, if a lot of their blue chip teams leave, that conference will pull. There's no way that conference will stay afloat. And if Miami and Florida State leave, Clemson leaves. That that's bad news. That, that that's bad news. Right. Uh, well, not I mean, nothing uh, against the teams in that division, but that's that's bad news. If that's bad. what the thought right. process what is with the SEC, then I guess the Florida Florida guess, State game wouldn't be an out of conference game anymore. <laughs> it won't be an out of conference game anymore. I mean, they're probably doing it all conferences before we know it. I, I think I think well, what's well, going to happen, Lou, is I think it's going to happen just like you said. They're going to abolish the divisions within the conferences, you know, and they're just going to play different under different rules. Yeah. So, but yeah, I wouldn't be. Surprised. I wouldn't. And when CBS loses the SEC, they think they're going to lose one of their great uh, on the field reporters too. Oh, who's that? Uh, yeah, who is that? Yeah, who's Jamie. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jamie Endo. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're gonna hey. you're gonna take away our girl. Are you nuts? I I well I mean here's my here's my thing. Not out of force. I don't care. Do you yeah. think that CBS will lose that deal? I don't think they're gonna lose. They're that. going to. 2025. They're gone. Oh, 2025. Where they, yeah, where's the SEC going? ESPN? Yep. Oh, it's gonna flip. Wow. Oh. wow. Well, that'll be that'll be about the time well, that Gerald's boys are in the SEC. That's true. Well, here's, the question, here's the question that I asked when the SC when the Texas comes in in Oklahoma, if they still do have the division, where is who gonna go where? Yeah, is Texas gonna go in the yeah. east or the west? I'm curious how that's yeah, go the east. The east, okay. All right, okay. And and Oklahoma going to west. So that means Oklahoma would be in with Alabama, LSU, Ole Miss, Mississippi State. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Arkansas. All right. And honestly, I don't think I don't think Oklahoma hang with Alabama. No, because then Texas no. would be in with Florida, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, um, Georgia. Vanderbilt. Georgia's the top team Georgia. in the East. And I don't and I don't think we can with Georgia. No way. I wouldn't say not right now, but in the future you might be able to. Right. Lewis is Dane saying the Cowboys are going to go to the Super Bowl this year. I don't think it's going to be in the Super Bowl, but I do think they'll make the division round. Hey, it's it's going to be interesting. Are we, what it be, about a half or about a month away? Yeah, it should be about a from yeah. The team from yeah, it's really, I mean, it's really kind of going to be, I think, in two weeks. So, uh, and the first preseason game is uh, in the first week of August. Yeah, yeah so we're not, we're not that far from me getting up on Saturday morning watching college game day. Same here. <laughs> New York, yeah. college game. There's nobody, nobody up until three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Now, 
And don't forget about week zero. And don't forget about yep. Week zero. Yep. Zero. Yeah, we had the NFL preseason opens on the uh, 4th of August. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Thank that's, you. yeah, that's a few weeks away, three or four weeks away. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Football is wow. back. Thank the Lord. What do you mean, Adam? You, somebody, I'm getting feedback. Somebody yeah. Somebody has me? the stream open and it's. I don't think it's me. I don't think it's me. I don't know if it's me. I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, somebody's got what the Facebook, the Facebook open or. Yeah. What is it? Or. It's a, someone's got it's, Facebook open. The group. It's doing the same thing. It's doing the same thing on the show. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. All right. So let's, as we let's, usually close out most of our shows, let's do it with boys, with the shield itself. So the NFL. Um, obviously, we know Baker Mayfield is traded to Carolina um, for a fifth round additional pick. So that means if Deshaun Three Watson rounds. gets at me, the Browns will have Jacoby Brissett, right, as their starting quarterback. Jacoby if Watson gets suspended. Hmm. Interesting. If Watson... I went five with, uh, with Brissett as the starter. That defense is still pretty good. Yeah. 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 I think. I think Brissett's not a bad quarterback. He's, he's not a game winner. He's not going to lead you on an 80-yard uh, game-winning, game-scoring Super Bowl, you know, fourth quarter, down by four, game-winning drive. But if they can keep everything in front of them, make the plays, make um, Brissett can be a – as long as Watson isn't suspended the whole year, if he gets eight games – or if he gets indefinitely suspended until they unsuspend him, you know, Bursette can step in there and, and fill in quite nicely. They still have Chubb. They still have um, Hunt. They got that tight end. They're not, out, they're not out of it by any stretch. I think the, I think that it's – I think you got to go. Oh. Uh, I need to get Blake Bortles. Wow. Blake Bortles? To do what? Oh. Filling for Baker Mayfield in the God Awful Progressive commercial? Stay far, whatever. <laughs> Come on, Rick. I mean, maybe four years ago. Yeah. Um. It, it's um, not. It's not the end of the world. They still have very nice pieces there. That they, 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 as long as they manage the quarterback situation and they don't and they freak out and overspend for another, an, a, you know, somebody else. They can. They can still. They can weather the storm as long as they don't lose. Big, as long as they don't lose Watson for too long, and they can be four and four after eight games. And and still be in the home. If you guys want the Pro Football Hall of Fame announced 54 semifinalists okay. uh, for the class of 2023, let me give you the names, and you can tell me if you think they belong there or not. Um, I'm not sure who Ken Anderson is. Kenny Anderson, the quarterback from Cincinnati. Yeah. Is that is that who it was? Okay. The Bengals. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, uh, Maxi Bond, B A U G H A N. I'm not sure who that is. Mark Clayton was with the Dolphins. I know that. Roger Craig. How the, how's he not in the Hall of Fame? How's Roger Craig not? In the yeah, Hall of Fame? that's weird. Um, that's very strange. Uh, Laverne Pawig, Randy Garachar, Lester Hayes, Chris Hinton, Chuck Halley, Cecil Isabel, Joe Jacoby. 
Billy White Shoes Johnson, Mike Keen, Joe Klecko, Bob Kutchenberg, George Kuntz, Jim Marshall, Clay Matthews Jr., Eddie Mentor, Stacey Morgan, Tommy Nobis, Ken Riley, Sterling Sharp, Otis Taylor, and Everest Walls are the seniors. And then here are the coaches. Wow. Bud Adams Jr. Just some of these. Going down the list here. But I think, uh, I want to say, I think, um, what's his name? The owner of the Patriots is a finalist. Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft. Yeah. 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 What, what did Tom Elbers say his college football? I'm sorry? What Tom Nobles plays college football? Where did he play college football? Yeah. Oklahoma State. Yeah. No. 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 You, <laughs> you see him in Texas all the time. What conference? At this time, uh, they were in Southwest Conference. Time. They were in the Southwest Conference. Okay. Yeah, back uh, back in the sixties. You said Is that right? Huh? Who? Go ahead. Right. Uh, Tom Noble. He the college football at the University of Texas. Texas. University of what? Texas. It was a Texas long one. Okay. Oh, he was yeah. He was a little bit. Mm. Yeah, Richie, I, I, I agree with you. The the feedback is bad. Wow. It is bad. Wow. I don't know what's causing it. And uh, the one just said cow would be paid for the cowboy. Let's see. But I had to agree that Roger Ray not in the Hall of Fame yet. What the hell's going on with that one? I that that baffles I, me too. I don't know why Roger Craig isn't in the in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. He should all be in there a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. Um, so I don't know where that's because he from. was on the he was on what the eighties forty ers that the Montana. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. And he was the first player to have a thousand a thousand thousand. Yeah. He was the yeah. one. He was the one that played for the one part in that that uh, cat against my Cowboys. Right. Um. So they they have bet for the NFC South for who the favorites are. The Bucks are a the favorite, followed by the Saints, Panthers, and Falcons. Yep. Okay. What about E? The East, I don't know. It was Jordan. It was just the NFC South. Yahoo.com put out the NFC South betting. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Cowboy fan. I'm a, I'm a high heart Cowboy fan. But, you know, I got to go to the Eagles. Eagles are going to win the East. I'm sorry yeah. you say that. I think it'll be close. I think, be I think it's going to be close between the Eagles and the Cowboys. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to be close yeah. between the Eagles and Cowboys. Because the, the Giants will be five feet. And you have and, Washington who has um, what's his name? The former the Eagles quarterback. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, yeah. They can't win their quarterback. Right. Right. I gave him a front of a disability parking plant. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rick. Rick, I got something to tell you, but I ain't going to do it on there. That's the California house. The Calgary. I don't know. Uh huh. I think, and I want to say, I want to say, Gerald, he's a Saints fan, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. He can correct me if I. Oh no, I'm sorry. He's not a Saints fan. He's a Jaguars fan. Richie's a Jaguars. Oh, they don't really have any fans. 
He's a jack. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to promise myself on that one. I can get some really bad with that one. Yeah, he's a Jags fan. Yep. Yep. I would actually have fans. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think about that. I think about something else, yeah. but I'm not saying. <laughs> well, they're in the AFC South, so yeah. would. With Trevor the, um, is not going to become quarterback mm-hmm. deal. Kevin says Those that we're, we're double talking and everyone's fading in and out. Yeah, it's been happening. I think it's Brad. The internet is causing Probably. Maybe, probably. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you I guys got, want me to hit the refresh button or do you want me yeah. to? Hit the refresh button. Hit the- hit it. Let's see what happens. All right, all right, sure. Yep. All right. Here we go. Words and junk. Okay. Yeah. Are we still yeah. getting the feedback? Does anybody have a Facebook it- tab open? I don't know. I can a messenger. Yeah, but do you have your, do you have the, the the group page open on Facebook? Uh, you have any Facebook web uh, windows closed? Windows. No, I don't. I'm gonna drop out and come back in myself. All right. Well, now it's this food, Luke. Well, I hope it's not me as the problem. Is it me? See? Hello? Still doing it. I don't know. Might be one of those weird times, weird shows we have where just feedbacks all the time. Right. Right. Yeah, I, I could still hear it. I know. Uh, I know. Been. Uh, feedback ain't going my- for me. Mm. And the only thing we could do, guys, is is end the show, and mm. I don't know. Let's cut it <laughs> short and try it again. Yeah. Yeah. Try again next week. Yeah. Try again. All right. I was gonna say that. Yeah. I was gonna say. That. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna tell what happened. Tell what we did wrong. And, uh, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll just end it here yeah. for tonight, gentlemen, and we'll All try right. again yeah. next week. Hopefully, we'll, we'll figure out what the problem was. Yep. Okay. Yeah. See you guys and next sure. week. I'll be here next week. Sure. Yeah. Don't get to get one and give me the information. I will, Joe. Let me let me contact her, and I'll get with you. I'll get back to you about that. Yep. Okay.